on this episode of To Catch a Predator, 65-year-old Earl Green drove all the way from Missouri to Connecticut because he thinks he's going to meet 13-year-old Little John. But what he doesn't know is that he's going to meet 59-year-old Chris Hansen instead. His boot scooting boogie with a 13-year-old is going to be on national television. Yep, 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 yep. Stop with your boot scooting bullshit. <laughs> Green lives in the small city of Gainesville, Missouri, and works on a ranch with his stepdad Hick, an inbred older brother who is also his biological dad, Yoko. Earl says that they are not poor but they're no queen of Iceland either. He's mentioned something called the poop bucket numerous times. In an attempt to change the subject from poop bucket, our decoy asked Earl what kind of music he was into. He said he liked listening to Gid Tanner and his skillet liquors a crunchy old-time hillbilly band from the 20s. He sent a YouTube link to one of their songs titled Run Nick. It was at this point that Green just randomly showed up to our undercover sting house while our 7-year-old decoy posing as 13 Little John was straight up eating an entire melon. Earl tried snatching Little John through the window and he nearly escaped with a little faggot, but not before our SWAT team got back from busting into some random Twitch streamer shitty apartment. I offered Green a seat. Why don't you have a seat? That pumpkin booked it. Luckily we still had our camouflage SWAT guy. He started chasing him, trying to put handcuffs on him, but then Earl started Jojo posing so the SWAT guy just chased him and Earl just fucking died.